and we're gonna save the best for last which is the question of sport classic every reseller is looking for this this is a bolo this is a bolo good afternoon good evening wherever you're watching this video from in the world today welcome to team pmp multi-family youtube channel and if you're new, frequent, often regular viewer, my name is P and this is a charity shop haul. Now with this charity shop haul, you see it is very diverse. Got some clothing, loads and loads of books, special unique books, some posters. These are posters. We will go through all of these, tell you how much I spend, how much I reckon I'm gonna get on eBay, Depop, Vinted, Etsy, and even including Facebook Marketplace. So if you're a regular viewer, often frequent, every now and then, this is Team PMP Multifamily YouTube channel, and this is what we do. We are a multi platform reseller, and today we have a really interesting haul for you so we are going to go through this charity shop haul starting now and we're going to start off with clothing and we got this adidas shorts yet again picking up shorts but this shorts is not an adult pair it is a youth pair youth xl which is a decent little size so it was for 50p purchase at the charity shop so with this 50p, this would be a good fodder, bread and butter, good for vintage, good for eBay, quick sales, not hang around, looking around five, eight pounds plus posts, five plus posts on vintage, have slight different sales strategy. And this Adidas pair shouldn't hang around for some kid especially during this football time and summer. Let's keep it moving rapid fire with the clothing. Keeping it moving. Got this denim jacket. Size medium. It is G-Star Raw. Now, G-Star Raw or G-Star in general, size medium, made in Vietnam. So G-Star is quite respected popular brand nice all around condition nice all around condition as we do it's got all the features all the benefits all the application that you can wear it with a hoodie a t-shirt take it out with you for an evening long sleeve nice buttons the buttons are all there and it's a decent size as well, being a medium. Double breasted pockets. Got a top pocket there as well. No design on the back. Would have been nice to have a design on the back, but it's not got a design. Really clean, looking fresh. The G-Star denim was purchased for three pounds. In my charity shop salvation army now from that three pounds the g star 20 25 pounds bread and butter clothing restable item as a reseller really stable item 20 to 25 pound quick sale would be nice but 30 to 60 90 days and can even do a really good deal on vintage and facebook because collecting in person or no fees means I can drop the prices. So try and have flexibility with your sales strategy. Moving on to the next lot of items. Clothing has been taken care of. Guess where we're going to be going next. If you can guess where we're going next. So this charity shop haul is a mega charity shop haul. So right now I've got the first of the posters out for you. On display and the first one is this Pixar Incredible 2's poster this one is the vertical set vertical scale first vertical size 
going all the way down, really big size. And the incredible poster was bought on a hunch. All these four posters I'm about to show you, I did not know what they were. Obviously, I did not open them just now. I opened them when I was doing my prep for the set, the original setup that you see. And now I've laid them out in my second setup. My third setup, because we did the clothing setup. Then we got the sofa set up, which you're all familiar with now. And then obviously we got the, the table set up, which is where, where I normally film what sold videos. So I've got this really nice, incredible posters. First time I'm doing posters. So this also becomes a mini category informational aspect of this video to show you that there are lots of good categories you can get into on eBay that will make you good sales, good returns, and you can either do the research or take a punt like I did. But I've seen John Luke's videos, big up John Luke, really big eBay seller, really big on YouTube. Put his link on the description, so check out John Luke. Leave him a comment, tell him Peter Ghost and the team PMP family sent you. And John Luke has been selling posters and says posters do well and I've never really come across posters so I thought when I saw them I have a punt I didn't have a time in the shop to open it check what it was and maybe give it away as well and they may change their prices so I stuck with the hunt the punt of the hunt and came back very surprised and the first one that we got and what makes a good category switch up good category of sales so that you can sell regularly, frequent, often, daily, just like you watch my videos. And we're gonna go through these in the first section we got. The first one we got is this Incredibles poster and it is sick. I think it's sick. Look what I've won there. Get me, proper detail. And all I have to do with these is do some research. So let's, let's do some research together. So. I will zoom in, zoom in and see what info we got here. So, so Disney Pixar and it's got some PPPPP. And then we come over this side, big up the hedgehog for holding it up. Let's see who it's made by. So it's Pi Made, published by Primade International, the art group. Leicester UK and there you go so we got some info the zooming is not good my zooming skills today is a bit whack but there we go so I'm gonna go to pridemadeinternational.com and find out more about this publishing to see what year it would have been out and then I can put all that kind of information on my description of the item. Moving on to the next one. Boom. Second poster of four. Now this second poster of four, if you're a big fan, you should know what one this is already. So I got a Harry Potter there. And the Harry Potter, I believe, is the Hogwarts castle. So any Harry Potter fans watching this, hop on my store within the next week. Because I'll turn them around in a week. So I will also put up a post to say when these go live. So the Harry Potter poster. Harry Potter. There we go. Warner Brothers. Got that PP3, I think that's the size. And then these are the publisher names and related indica. So that's the publishing. Let's see if we get a date on this side. So on this side, we can, there we go. It's made by them man again. Hi Ramade. Hi Ramade, the publisher. So we'll be going, so going to the same destination 
and doing more research and finding these out. So, the Harry Potter Hogwarts. I reckon for these posters, depending on their individual, if they exist on an eBay listing, I will be going for these. And I reckon they should do well. So hang on there, let's go to the next one. On to the next one, we got our second Harry Potter. As you can see, and because we've done some research during this video, now this one, I am not a Harry Potter fan. I'm not a Harry Potter fan boy. Not been really into the Harrys, or I've watched them, but no retention. So you have to help me out in the comment section. Not only to let me know what was your favorite poster, let me know what am I looking at? What street is this in the Harry Potter land? So we've got two Harry Potters, probably the Hogwarts ones won't hang about. So I will let you know when I go live in store with these posters. And as you can see, the two Harry Potters probably gonna be the best sellers of the posters. The incredible ones is good as well. So be versatile, be flexible, take a punt, try different categories not always about the average selling price it's sometimes to do with the sale through rate the SDR means how quick it will sell and how quick it is gonna go between the supply and demand phenomena of that it's really high in demand you can get a high price low supply you can get an even higher price and I think the Harry Potter posters will do well moving on to our last poster of four and we're here now to our last poster and this poster I, is the, probably the one I have the least info on. All I know is it's called Run. It's got this mad alien looking character. It's a really big poster. And it was released on May 18th. So let's do some research and find out where this poster or what is this poster. So property of Fox, promotional use only. Duplication or other transfers of this material is strictly prohibited. Okay, any more info on this? So we got no year. Mm -hmm. It's Fox again. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, gonna have to do some research on this one by going with the title and also maybe a little bit of Google's pick. Google Lens to see if Google Lens could help there and give further information, maybe date and also any further information such as maybe even Google Lens might help with the eBay search. But that's part of what comes with learning a new category, learning about new items, getting yourself product knowledge and therefore you can transfer that into making good sales. So that was the section for the posters. Now in this part of the video, if you are a book lover, we're gonna be dealing with books next. But before we go to books, we got this Flintstone cup mug. Flintstone mug is gonna get added to our multi-variation listing. It is from 1986 when it comes to if you've seen one of our videos, I'll put up the video link in the description and on the pop-up so you'll be able to watch that video about multi-variation listings, mugs and vintage items. So check that video out and you'll see how we have a multi-variation listing regarding another category that does well in, on eBay, which is collectible mugs, cups and various other vintage items on that multi-variation listing. So that's why we collect them one at a time. Sometimes you might be lucky and find several of them when you go thrifting, charity shopping or car boot sale. So we're gonna continue with the rest of the charity shop haul. Moving on to books, rapid fire styly. Got this Delia, keeping it with the BBC theme. Got the Delia Smith vegetarian collection. I'm a big Delia fan and this book has got the dust cover. I've sold these books before. When you take off the dust cover, it is still a lovely book. And you got the black ones and you have the white ones as well. This is the second time I'm having a black one. So that's why I saw it, recognize it. 
and I got it straight away. And this one was a July 2004 purchase, so it's vintage almost. It's 20 years old, this book. Wow. And look, 25 pounds. That's the general theme regarding all of these books I got. They are all really fantastic books. This photography book by Bruce Gilden is another example of that. When I flipped it around and I saw the recommended retail price, I'm like, what, another 30 pound book, $40, $49 in the US, I gotta get that. And it's a really, really lovely book. Great, fantastic condition, great images. And the only downside to these books are they're very heavy, but I'm sure the prices will be worth it on these books. And I will show you some comps quickly on these books as well. Moving on to our next book. It's another really vintage book. This one is a Mary Ford. And there is a little theme with the either cooking books or really niche books. That's what I've gone for this time. So I've gone for niche books or cooking books. This is another classic cooking book. The best of Mrs. Beaton's. Easy everyday cooking. This one is because it's a classic one. And I was recommended this one in the shop by the ladies. Big up Sharon and Rose that gave me these recommendations with these books. And then, as you know, Team PMP Multifamily, we're heavily when it comes to cakes, bakes, treats, and Afro-Filipino range. So you can check that out on our channel because this is a multi-family channel. We are also caterers and my partner is a cake baker and I got a couple of these books for her to do some research, find what's going on that's trending and also maybe try them out before they get sold. And this one too has got a really nice Recommended retail price, £15 UK, $22 US. So these niche books have got something about them with their eBay prices. So that's another one I'll put up the comps. And this one, Redemption by Fernando Gamboa. Just sounded and looked interesting as well. So I went for this one as a punt. Not necessarily because it's got a high recommended retail price it's because as well it was one of the re uh, recommendation this time by a customer that i'm quite familiar with and often chat to when i'm in the shop and recommended that one as a good seller as a good book so i took that and then the next one is another niche book the paratroopers book and the paratroopers book as well did that to me it's a classic is vintage and it's a niche book. It's in fairly good condition all round. And it's also a book that I thought, you know what? Let me check the dust cover. Yep, I'm going to get that. There are lots of patriotic paratroopers around. And someone is probably looking for this book. So I thought, yep, I'll add that to my pile. So it makes my books come up to two pounds i spent on all of these books that's right all of these books that you see me have and gone through rapid fire style all cost me two pounds to buy the books and also the question of sports was also for two pounds so and we're gonna save the best for last which is the question of sport classic every reseller is looking for this this is a bolo this is a bolo this is the holy grail of reselling. So we'll get into that. And we're going to make a special video for that. So there's nothing much more to talk about it. And just show you a few quick clips about the amazing question of sports. And the box is in a decent, good condition all around. But it's all about the cards. So as you can see, it's complete. It's in really good condition. Got the instruction manual how to play the game. Got the Bill Bowman, got the Evelyn, Evelyn Hughes, got the all the accessories so you can play the game, got the cards, got the separators for the Evelyn Hughes questions, got the David Coleman 
he's got and all the requirements of the biases and that are there and the cards that everyone wants are the special cards that come in the pack and yes i have got them and my cards are in really good condition and i have not put them in order they're how i first got them but the mike tyson is there Ayrton Senna, Maradona, let's have a lucky dip and see if we can pick out any of the good ones. Nope. So I've not put them in any particular order. I don't know where they are. There you go. There's the Ayrton Senna. Got the Ayrton Senna. And when it comes to cards, it's to do with the corners, the centering, and the general all-round condition. If you would like to have them graded or sell them raw, but me, I'm going to keep mine and I'm going to keep them just as they are. I'm not going to look to sell it for now. I don't collect many things as a reseller, but this is one I've been definitely looking for. And this would have been my second one. I got offered this before in the same charity shop that I always go to, but I was new in the reselling game. I said, no, I don't need that. Don't, don't really do board games. Those times I was very strict. They didn't do board games, things that took time. So... I had to learn and now I am lucky to get one in my charity shop again and yes if I get another one I will then look to sell those one raw and you know do what I hear resellers do try and get two of them so then you can be able to pick the best ones and then once you have the best ones you can then sell off the rest and guess what I think that's a very good idea because I'm going to look to get a better box my box is not in the best condition but I might get another one where the box is better than this box so then I can keep the cards and all the parts and then sell that one on. We have done the charity shop thrift haul video where you got to see lots of regular categories that we're in and also got to see some niche items today whether it was books the posters that I've put all back, clothing, bread and butter clothing that we do, you know, Team PMP, we give you all the back end, behind the scenes exclusive of how we run our e-commerce, multi platform reselling with also category videos, original series in video of the different categories that do well on eBay, such as posters in this video, and our bread and butter books and a bolo for you all in the same video so if you are a regular watcher frequent often like subscribe tell a friend share this video and also we've got plenty more videos for you to watch check the links we've got lots of resources in there and if you like to watch more reselling videos check this video right now and you can watch and see another charity shop video or check this other video and you can watch our playlist to see what we really get up to and you can catch up on all our content that we make so thank you for watching another video team pmp multi-family and i'll catch you, all you need is that